Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Smith Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more live CWL attacks. As you can see, I left it pretty late again, but don't worry, I always get my attacks in, even though it may be a little late on this one. But hey, we're going to do it, and if you guys are new to the channel, or if you're just new to really just these videos in general, well, welcome, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys could, smash that like button and subscribe if you guys enjoy or if i don't get three stars honestly just unsubscribe because i suck but i'm just kidding um please don't <laughs> so in today's we're gonna be doing some go boho actually we're not we're i usually do go boho on a base like this but i want to try something a little different a little bit more risky and i'm actually putting hogs in the clan castle why i'm doing that uh, honestly, just because I wanted to see if I could get either like an inferno on either side or really just clear out the cores, kind of just help the hog pathing a little bit. It's a little bit of a questionable choice of CC, but hey, I mean, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and jump right in. It's basically, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is two golems right here, push them through the middle, and engage the queen. I'm guessing the wall wrecker will probably exit somewhere around this zone right here if i had to guess and then i'm gonna hog either from up the top and go down and across or i'm gonna do the reverse of that and go down and to the left and then up so let's go ahead and jump right in and see how this goes so i'm gonna delay my heroes on this one just because i need them to funnel because i'm doing a corner funnel entry on this one so i need to make sure that it is pretty clean so golem right there gonna oh no all right that's already a bad start <laughs> i did not want my golem to go to all the way over there but it is okay we are here to adapt and uh <laughs> questionable questionable entry right there it is okay though we will we will figure it out all right putting heroes in need to stack a decent amount of wizards here gonna leave four for cleanup all right the good news is is the golem did come back in let's go all right it's not good on the fact that the wall wrecker is now tanking everything would that is not ideal pretty good i'm just gonna go ahead and leave a rage right here hopefully they basically knock down everything right there i'm gonna go ahead and start the hog phase right now start guiding in the hogs a little bit all right i need to go ahead and rage my king all right so i'm just waiting right now to see where all right i'm gonna go ahead and drop a heal right there and i'm also gonna i'm gonna go ahead and freeze right there i need to start dropping the cleanup drop putting some of those wizards down and i'm gonna drop another wizard right here all right it looks like the hawks actually did work this is looking like three all right, I still got two heals left. It looks like we're actually going to be able to swag a heal. Maybe swag too. Should I risk it? I don't know. Oh, okay. That was actually almost really close. Okay, don't don't double swag, but I'm going to put one on the town hall just to let them know that we crushed it. Overall, a little bit of a messy attack, but hey, we, we got the job done. And um, I really can't complain. That is three stars on the board for the home team. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and really just review how the rest of that raid went and i'm kind of just gonna break down really just how everything went so let me just get a minute to collect myself and then we'll go ahead and review that together Alrighty, guys let's go ahead and review it and see how that attack went so let's go ahead and break it down and all right first things first i'm gonna be honest here I did not think that that, for that second golem I put down would actually go all the way to the corner. Truthfully, I did need to place it a little bit more here at the top, but honestly, it did end up working in our favor. So I'm going to go ahead and keep speeding it up a little bit. Wall wrecker, everything went in pretty well, delayed the hero as well. And honestly, the kill squad, besides that golem initially, I can't really complain or really ask for anything much better than that. I really, I pretty much predicted where the wall worker would break for the most part. I had a pretty good feeling about that. Usually, honestly, the wall worker kind of has a bad tendency to get in front of the golems, which can suck. But let's go ahead and take notice of what actually happened as soon as 
this electro dragon broke because honestly guys whenever i'm doing these attacks and i see that my wizards and queen have locked on to their enemy clan castle and there's a poison on it i'm like i'm pretty much already starting the next start of my raid and because i don't want to waste any time and i don't want to time fail be like bruce lee be like water just have your <laughs> i know that may sound ridiculous but like you just want your base i mean your troops to move across the base in one smooth motion you know so the hogs broke out and they did exactly what i wanted them to i wasn't sure if there was going to be any extra additional defenses in here but i thought there would have been and that's exactly what the hogs were able to do is create a good path for the rest of my hogs to basically grow out, go throughout the rest of the base and put the top hogs at the top Saved a couple as I always recommend that you do against these island type bases save a couple to always spread throughout the rest But always put the main Bit through at the beginning just to have like that main attacking force and then just scatter them the rest of them around To basically uh, help guide the rest of them or the main pack should I say And I didn't to be completely honest. I didn't have a huge plan for that freeze that I brought in the in the clan castle uh, if there was multi infernos, I would have saved it for the multi inferno. But on this one, I saw that basically the colon was moving down and my queen was going to move down, so everything was looking good on that end. So I decided to freeze right here just because there was a bunch of point defenses and possibly some giant bombs like there were. And as you, as I said, I was thinking about swag healing, which almost ca caught me big time. But as you can see, due to some changes, this like in the old version of the game double giant bombs used to be lethal and then they actually nerfed giant bombs a long a long time ago so double giant bombs aren't as effective anymore still good don't get me wrong but just nearly as effective and honestly in my my opinion i do not recommend them when base building so i hope you guys enjoyed let's go ahead and get ready for day number two and i will see you guys there Alrighty, guys so it is day number seven or day number two in this video there's four minutes left in typical fashion we're attacking late in the war just because honestly i'm just very busy during the day so as long as i get my attacks in that's always what the ideal situation is um so we're gonna be attacking 21 and we have already so before i go into the base we have already guaranteed second place we're gonna be moving up in this so we actually moved from reddit zenith to awesome clan war to basically do the clan wars just a little bit of an easier matchup because it's primarily like town hall eights and tens and uh so it, it, it we just go here to make it a little bit easier so i'm gonna go ahead and attack 21 i'm gonna be using govaho actually and primarily with two golems again and i'm basically the plan is is i'm going to be putting a baby drag around here and then another one about right here and then I'm just going to come in, enter right here, and then push down. And my, I, if I had to guess, my wall worker would probably break somewhere around right here-ish. So let's go ahead and attack. And let's get this, um, let's get this. All right, so there, my, as you can see, my clan mates are, are massive me right now. They're telling me don't choke. So uh, let's, let's hope we don't choke. And uh, let's get it. So, all right. In typical fashion so let's go ahead and put the golem down this one this time close no way that's this is that's twice this time where it damn all right no way I have had terrible golems it is okay though we will we will come back I'm going to put a couple extra wizards in there just to help everything come out. And all right. So it's a multi inferno. So I don't have to really worry about much. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and heal that not heal, but poison. All right. So that's going to be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get the rage ready to go. Come on, queen lock onto that. Yep. Right where I predicted. I'm going to go ahead and rage the king as well. All right, starting the hog phase as well. Put a couple more at the top and then, all right, let's get this going. So we got a pretty good value out of the kill squad. Gonna go ahead and drop a heal here. And let's see, all right, awesome heal. Gonna go ahead and freeze that. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I meant to freeze that, but it's okay. We will save the freeze for this. A little bit of a eh, freeze, but 
All right, we got two heels left. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Gonna go put this right here. Terrible, terrible heel, but it's okay. We got we got this in the back for sure. Oh my gosh, that was so messy. But honestly, I didn't have that much time to plan. I've just been so busy these past couple of days, and that is GG in the books. Securing the two, I mean, second place again. We're not going to get first no matter what. But hey, three stars absolutely crushed the base. And that's how we do it, man. That's, that's, that's a six pack in this video. Let's go. Let's go. So I pretty much called out pretty much directly where the wall breaker was going to break. As well as where the Valkyries weren't going to be able to go. I got pretty good value from the kill squad. Pretty happy about that. Honestly, this is kind of a, a sloppy recording in my opinion, but we got the job done. That's all that matters. So just give me a moment to kind of like recollect myself. Let's see. Let's go. There we go. Didn't choke. Let them know. Let the clan mates know. All right, let's go back and review this attack. Alrighty, so I was actually wrong. I forgot that when you win the war that you actually get 10 bonus medals or points should I say so as you can see we actually got first which is awesome to see honestly great job to everyone on our team seven wins in a row that's sick and let's go ahead and just review the attack and see what went wrong and what could have went better so first of all let's talk about this golem honestly that's just something I need I need to work on. Like obviously I'm doing a terrible job of, of placing these golems initially. But honestly, they always work out because you have to learn how to adapt. Even if things don't go to perfectly the plan, they almost never do. As long as you can adapt well, you will be so successful in this game. So not too mad about that. It honestly ended up working out regardless. Ended up taking out that cannon and, and really just tanking a bunch of damage regardless. Put the poison down. That's good. Wall Rucker broke exactly where I thought it was gonna. Wish the Electro Drag got taken out a little bit earlier. And something that you guys have to do, especially, I might have mentioned it earlier or in one of my other videos, but you need your troops to move in together. So as you can see, the Expo and just some of the defenses are currently busy and I'm already starting my hog phase. You need to just start the hogs as soon as you can. Um, as soon as you see that the clan castle is gonna go down and everything that you need to take care of from the kill squad, just start hogging. So hogs are going in, that's good. And I got huge value out of my kill squad. Look at this, that's a fourth of the base and I'm about to get a bomb tower from that as well. So huge value, did mess up that heal there. I wanted to freeze that, but that's okay. I ended up working anyway. Didn't get much value out of that out of that free spell. I probably should have used it up here, honestly. Terrible heal. I wasn't expecting that coin to step up and take this out. But the base was just so crushed because of just how everything worked out. Pretty solid plan overall. That it was GG. And this is another CWL video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep crushing it. Keep clashing on. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.